Game.com. A Monday Night Football freebie from the only two-time Super Contest champion. This is Brad Powers in the Pregame.com studios just off the Vegas Strip. We're talking Monday Night Football. We're talking Fezzik's favorite team, Cincinnati, traveling to take on the New York Football Giants. Fez, who do you like and why? I'm on my Cincinnati Bengals plus two and a half. Yes, the Cincinnati Bengals against the Giants team that cannot run the ball. 3.2 yards per rush. That's horrible. NFL average is around four yards per rush. And this team has the wide receivers to overcome it. They've got Cruz. And of course, they've got Beckham. Last week, I had the Giants. They're up 14 to nothing. I'm feeling good. Cruz has to go off the field. He's injured. All of a sudden, Beckham gets double teamed. Oh, that's okay. We'll try to run the ball some more. Some more completely ineffective, and that's how they've been all year long. And if you can't run the ball, you can't win in the NFL. Yeah, nice scoreboard win for the Giants last week, but they were out game 449 to 302, and that 14 nothing lead really skewed the game. Uh, late in the game, they're holding on for dear life. Leaking oil, no doubt about it. The Eagles, last play of the game, fade pattern in the corner of the end zone. Don't quite complete it. If they would have played five quarters instead of four, I'm fairly confident. I Instead of cashing my ticket, I'd be ripping it up and it'd be confetti. Second main point. Second main point, Tyler Eifert, the tight end for the Bengals, so critical to the Bengals' attack. We all know what happened. Hugh Jackson, their offensive coordinator, he leaves for Cleveland, becomes the head coach. Sanu and Jones, number two and number three wide receivers, leave the team as well, free agency. All of a sudden, Andy Dalton, all he's got to throw to is A.J. Green. He's great, but he's not enough, and they become a 20-20 offense. They see the ball 20-20, they get to the 20, they stall, they kick field goals. Eifert came back. Week 7 against Cleveland, limited playing time. Then Week 8, breakout game in London against the Redskins, gets 100 yards, now a bye week. Now he'll be back fully to strength. Yeah, let's talk red zone scoring touchdown percentage here. With Al Eifert this year, only 52%. This is a Cincinnati team the last three years was averaging 65% touchdown percentage in the red zone. Got to think Eifert helps in that regard. You want to make it official? Let's do it. Giants' run game struggles are magnified with Victor Cruz injured. Tight end Eifert will fix the Cincinnati Bengals' problems in the red zone. The Fez math says Cincinnati Bengals plus two and a half. More videos at pregame.com.